my name is Scott Inger, and welcome to your 10th Blender 2.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating another asset for a game, and this is going to be uh, a quick tutorial on how to make a barrel, basically. So let's open up Blender. And. Okay, this might seem very easy, and probably is going to be a very easy tutorial and very quick. I'm not going to be very explaining very much in this tutorial. I'm just going to be doing it. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to side mode and get uh, press five on the number key to get into orthographic mode. We're going to delete the default cube and shift A to add a cylinder. Uh, tab into edit mode, G, Z, and grab it so it's right on. Actually, no. Undo that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna S, Z, and make it exactly two tone. No. Um, no. S, Z, Okay, G, Z, and there we go. Here's our thing. So now let's quickly just go and hit A to deselect all. Shift, click on up here right there. Control E to mark scene. Do the same on the bottom. No, not there. Control E to mark scene. Looks like that one. Let's just do that one. Control E to mark scene. Okay. So now that we have that done, let's just hit T to get rid of this menu bar over here. And we're going to split this area, which I've shown you guys how to do before, but if you guys don't know, still don't know how. You just right click down there in between two uh, things and just split area. You can even do it like this quickly. But I don't want to do that. I want to join the areas back together so I have only one. Go into UV image editor. Hit A to deselect all and A to reselect everything. Hit U. Unwrap. And we don't want it to do this, where it's all wavy, because we had a problem with this before. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to select each one of these things and do it one by one. So let's go into face mode over here and just select this one, that one. Okay. We want to just grab one versus grab. And shift S. Snap. No, I don't want to snap there. Grab. And. There you go, there's that one. And we're gonna shift, or no, I'm gonna select this vertice. Grab, and just right there. And do the same with this one. Grab, and make it straight. So that we can have a straight line all the way across. Okay, so let's select the next one. Just like that. No. Okay, so grab. 
I'm going to write with that one. With that, make sure that line is straight. Scroll back down to the bottom, take care of that one. And just match it up with this other one right there. Uh, select that one, grab. Grab. Let's just do it. Okay. And then you're just going to do that with this whole thing all the way across. So, how about I pause this and I'll restart it back when I'm done doing that. Alright, I'll be right back. And hello, I'm finally back. We, I, what I did my one extra thing before I did anything is I moved the other half of the barrel on top to the, right there. So, actually, before I continue, I want to grab this. Uh, and grab that and just move it up over there. Alright, so let's explore our UV layer or layout. And we're just. Uh, we don't want to put it in here where we have everything else. I name this barrel. Uh, export UV layout. It'll take a second. Um, let's actually exit out of that. And we're going to hit control save and we're going to name this barrel. Enter. But I want to create a new directory and we're going to name this assets. And I'm going to save it in there. Okay. Save the one file. Okay. Now that that's all saved. Let's close that. Let's go back in here. Let's go in there. And we want to move this over into the assets. And create a new folder in here. Actually, no. Alright. So, this. Now I think we all so yeah that's all we're gonna do in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. In the next tutorial we'll do the uh, textures and I use some textures that I found from cgtextures.com. So you might want to go look around on there for the textures. You can create your own free account for that. See you guys next time. Until. Tomorrow morning when I'm going to do this tutorial after a good night's sleep. Have a good day. Bye.